everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We're talking heads. <laughs> yes, we are. So we have been working together on something lately. I don't know if you remember, but back in 2016, this is for our Facebook followers. We can't remember anything, so I just had to call my buddy Dan to yeah. find out what month this was. Because this was before our YouTube days. So this was back when Bill was posting things just on Facebook, and he posted some videos about oil trading. So, Go ahead. All right, so I, I was oil trading for many years and looking at stuff. So starting probably about 2007, I was going through some personal difficulties and that always motivates you to become a little more successful. So we jump up from me horsing around from 2007 to... 2016. Yeah, because then I met you in what year? 2007, in, towards the end. Yeah, yeah, so you saved my life, but it's Valentine's Day, so, so you gotta be nice. Yeah. Look how red I turned, oh my god. <laughs> it is true though. All right, so we're never serious, but we're gonna talk about a serious matter today, mm -hmm. and we could have set up this shot in a very expensive, multi-million dollar property or in an office building somewhere, but we're just, sitting in our sitting room and no suits and ties and we just want to be normal regular people oh we yeah. want to be well, i know we're not but, <laughs> but we definitely well, want to be normal why but. don't you why don't you talk for a moment <laughs> <laughs> so in 2016 bill started doing some more oil trading more often and sharing it with you guys and just recently we've been talking about retirement we've been talking about saving some extra money for our future and things like that. So I actually made like four or five oil trading videos mm -hmm. on Facebook. And provided you guys just with some tips and information and stuff like that. Well, Bill has been teaching me lately some things and we've been talking about doing this together. And it's really, really interesting. So, so, so like when we retire or whatever and we still need an income right um where the the point of this video as we get into it is we're going to teach you exactly and show you exactly what we do yeah and i'm an amateur i mean i am just learning but i love it there's a lot to learn but she controls all the money <laughs> and so i think that this is something that people would like to learn and if there's no one around to teach them i mean I've got this guy that has so much knowledge in his mind about this and has done so much studying about it to teach me. And so now we want to provide this to you as well. And you can take the advice or not, whatever so, you want. So we didn't set this up as an infomercial. You know, some of the commercials that run on our YouTube videos show you how to trade and what to do or whatever to make money. But then you have to buy their course or you got to do something. Well, this morning when we woke up, Yes. I rolled over to my lovely wife and I said, would you like to make some money this morning? And, and my she, answer to that is always yes. <laughs> she says, heck no. I'm I don't know a, if you've ever I'm met gonna, me. I'm going to go to work. <laughs> so she has to leave the house at like 735 to make it to work at eight o'clock. Yes. Uh, this is a Wednesday, by the way, Wednesday morning. Right. So I don't know when this video is going to come out, but this is a Wednesday morning and on Wednesday mornings I don't have a meeting that I have to be in until 9 a.m. Right. So that's the time frame. We woke up at 6 a.m. and I rolled over to my wife and I said would you like to make some money this morning and she said yes. So we're not going to get into the, the technicalities of your trading accounts or anything like that. We're going to just show you exactly what we did this morning. Yes. So there is a report that comes out, an EIA report. We're not going to fill in. You want to tell them what EIA stands for and waste a ton more time or whatever. There's just a report that comes out yes. on Wednesday mornings at 7.30 our time Pacific time. So the point of that is, is there's certain times every week, week after week, year after year, forever, there is definitely to the second certain times when the price of a barrel of oil 
Look in the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when the price of a barrel of oil is going to move. Yes. It's definitely going to move at this exact time, a few different times in the week. But on Wednesday mornings, unless there's a holiday, blah, 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 you get in all kinds of other technical stuff. But at 7.30 a.m. on Wednesday mornings, mm -hmm. the price of a barrel of oil is going to move. Yes. Significantly enough that you need to take that money. Okay, so do you want to carry on? Do you know where I've left off and what yes. we did so I don't just talk the whole time? So this morning, Bill called me in a little while before the report was going to ha come out. <coughs> so tell them specifically. So about USA. UCO is the... <coughs> I'm testing her to see if she knows. <laughs> so UCO is what you are going to invest in if you believe that the price of oil is going to go up. If you believe the price of oil is going to go down, you're going to invest in SCO. Is invest the right? You're going to buy or yeah. bid. Yeah. Place a bid. You're going to buy stock in. Right. ETF. They're actually ETFs. They're <laughs> not a stock. But continue on. So this morning, the price of one stock was approximately $20.30-ish around this time. $20.18. It was kind well, of we're fluctuating. Gonna, we're going to show them that. Okay, so you don't, I don't need to go into that much detail. No, no, because I, rec I recorded online real time what we did to prove to so we're not just talking and telling yeah. you what you can do. I actually recorded it to show you exactly what we did. So last night we did a little bit of research and I reviewed some things and then this morning when we were looking at these, Bill said, I think oil is going to go up, so I'm going to... At exactly at 7.30. Yeah. Don't so be late. Don't be late. This was like a couple of minutes before 7.30 we started talking about it and Bill told me... Like 7.15. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy right now because I think that the price is going to go so up. So I bought into UCO. Mm-hmm with the amount of money that we agreed on mm -hmm. and I was betting that UCO was going to that the that the price of a barrel of oil was going to go up and I felt completely opposite so I invested in SCO believing that the price of oil was going to go down so the thing that's really cool about this is as long as you choose the right one whether the price of oil goes up or down, you can make money either way. You just have to be paying attention and make a guesstimate right. as you know as to what you an educated guess as to which one you think is going to be profitable. And by knowing the oil industry, it is not a crapshoot. It's right. not you're betting on black or red. Um, there's another report that comes out Tuesday afternoon called the api report that reflects on the wednesday morning eia report mm -hmm. okay so the point of this is is whether um the price of a barrel of oil goes up you can make money with uco mm -hmm. the stock ticker just put in those symbols but if the price of the barrel of oil goes down the price of sco mm -hmm. goes up and you can make money with that. Yes. So tell them what happened and then we'll get into showing them what happened. So the price of oil went down. So Bill was paying attention on his end so he was able right. to sell and not lose any money. But because I guessed correctly and or purchased correctly, I stayed in it for just a few seconds longer and was able to make a little bit of money on it. Like 30 cents a share or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So you might not think 30 cents a share is a lot, but as now we're gonna cut and show you the screen and then I'm gonna pull up a calculator on screen and um, talk about a couple other things um, and we'll make our point. And if you're not doing this or thinking about doing this with your spare money, um, put it this way, there are companies that I know that do this with trillions of dollars a day. And they do exactly this at that level and they make millions of dollars a day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all right, so let's cut this and let's continue on. Okay. This is what our ordering uh, page looks like. Um, I have it scrunched down so you can't see our account number and our money and other things like that. But 
this is um, we use Bank of America and through Bank of America Merrill Edge so this is a Merrill Edge trading account we trade on margin we're not gonna get into, into anything but I just want to tell you that we go in with this page and place our um, buy or sell so you can see buy or sell whatever we're doing quantity of shares whatever we're doing this is what our page looks like we preview the order so when we want to when we want to buy, it's kind of relaxing. We know when we want to buy, so we go in and we buy. Right. Then we set this up with the sell and we click the preview order button so we're ready to place that order the moment we want to sell. Okay, so I wanted to show you this first because then you'll understand the next part. Okay, so as you can see on this screen, what you're looking at is you UCO on the left and you, and SCO on the right, mm -hmm. and we're gonna replay this a couple times to explain it to you because as you can see on the clock, it's a minute away from things going to happen. So I'll talk for a minute. I went in UCO. You can see that the ask uh, what you have to buy it for is at eighteen dollars and nineteen cents currently eighteen, and the bid is your sell. So um, you could sell it at $18.17, 18 cents right now. It's constantly changing. So I just want you to know, before I start this video, I went in UCO at $18.10 a share, okay? The same time here as SCO, Lisa went in, you can see that it's trading at $20.39 and is the sell right now or whatever, the ask is, about the same. Um, the ask is what you buy it for and the bid is what you sell it for. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video so you don't see the jump. <laughs> it's going to happen in five seconds, right? I said exactly at 7.30. Yep. So Lisa went in uh, SCO at I think $20.25? $20.30. Okay, $20.30. Yes. Okay, oh, you have your notes. Yep. Okay. So, all right, so let's let this run this five seconds now and we'll show you exactly happen. So we are both in with our money, all right? And we're not gonna tell you exactly how money, but we're, after we explain this part, we're gonna run scenarios with some money so you know how much you can make, okay? On this simple thing, because in five seconds of the clock here at 7.30, you're gonna watch the price of, um, these ETF stocks change on the price of a barrel of oil. WTI oil is what it's following. And we're not pulling up the price of oil right now. Because actually what we do to trade, we don't care what the price of oil is, a barrel of oil is. We just want to know when it's going to move the, so we can make some money. Okay? Yeah. All right. So hope that makes sense. Okay. So now we're going to watch these last five seconds here. So four, three, two, one, zero, boom. Do you see that on there? <laughs> Do you see the jump? All right, did I call it at exactly 7.30 a.m. Wednesday, February 13, 2009? It jumped. 19, 2019. Oh, what did I say, 12? 2009. <laughs> oh, I wish it was 2009. So anyway, that's when I met you. 2007. Seven? Oh, all right. <laughs> I think I got rid of all my problems by 2009. Probably. Okay. So, um, I had 99 problems, but she ain't one. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, we're going we're gonna to have to rewind this because the jump has already changed. Okay. Now, remember, she's in this stock at $20.30. Mm -hmm. And I'm in this stock at $18.10. So, you can see that I've lost five cents a share right here, and she's made 23 cents a share here too, but I'm gonna back up and let's pay more attention to the jump now. So a little more. And remember, she has her finger on the button to sell it, right? So we're at 37, we're at 58, okay, 61. Okay, so I'm backing up. At 7.30 and 3 seconds this morning, it jumped to $20.61 that she could sell it for. 
Okay. By time she placed her cell, you got what? Twenty dollars and fifty-five cents. So I ended up earning twenty-five cents per share. Okay. So now we have to worry about my side, my loss. Remember, I bought at eighteen dollars and ten cents. But when the jump happens, it levels out. So let's play the video here. And we didn't have time to stay in and do whatever, but she's out with a 25 cents a share gain. And you can see that this is running at 18.4, 18.5. After the jump happens, things level out. It's at 18.1. We're only 20 seconds in here. And I'm hanging on and I'm hoping to get my money back. If I lose too much, I'll sell and we'll take the loss against our gain. Right? But I, but I just want to show you and prove to you that I, I came out even. All right? And I could have stayed longer, but we had other things to do. See, it's already at 18.10 at 43 seconds of trading time. It was 7.30 and 43 when it was at 18.10. So I put my order in to sell it. But here as time goes on, I don't know how long this video is, you're gonna see that it goes to 18.14, 18.15, I think. And I could have made five cents on my money. Mm -hmm. So we're back at 18.10 that I went in on. See there, it jumped to 18.17. And that's only a minute and 18 seconds in and it's jumping around and see it's coming down here but I, but I could have made a few cents a share but I didn't I just wanted my money back because I was showing my wife what was going on um, that we can do with our money in retirement <laughs> like, like we were talking about right okay so I got out even she got out with 25 cents a share profit yes okay so the, the next part we're going to show you the money that you could have made Okay, the next thing I want to show you is a lovely calculator. Ta-da! So you need to remember that Lisa made 25 cents a share. Okay, so we're not going to tell you how much money we play with. Okay, that we, that we have to invest in this. But we are going to tell you um, just something simply if, if you had $25,000. Okay, and we're not going to talk about margins. We're not going to get into stuff to how to trade both ways or whatever. Um, this is just the basics uh, to show you what you can do to earn some money in your day. Okay, so the reason I'm going to say that you need to have $25,000 minimum is there's some um, FCC and some federal rules, uh, Federal Trade Commission and the federal the feds the united states of america there's some rules into day trading and doing what we're doing um the rules kind of start to go away and you can kind of do this if you have um, a minimum of twenty five thousand dollars to play with last i checked could be a little more could be a little less but i'm going to say twenty five thousand dollars minimum so let's put in the calculator here twenty five thousand dollars Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So twenty-five thousand dollars. You bought shares at what price? Twenty dollars and thirty cents. So we're gonna divide by twenty dollars and thirty cents. So you purchased one thousand two hundred and thirty-one shares. Okay. If you had twenty-five thousand dollars to do this with. Okay. okay. So you made what? 25 cents. 25 cents a share. Yes. So we're going to multiply these shares. Am I right? Yep. By, by 25, 25 cents. I've been talking so much I can't think. <laughs> and that gives you what? $307. $307 you made in, in, ten that, seconds in that 10 seconds. <laughs> Okay, and you covered your butt with UCO because if it would have gone, if oil would have jumped the other way, mm -hmm. I would have made the money on that side and she would have got out. Yep. Okay, or you have two buttons on two computer screens, right? Whatever you're going to set up to play this. Okay, yes. okay, so right away you got to think, oh, there's another good thing. This doesn't become income, it becomes capital gains. So capital gains is a flat tax rate of 15%. So you're going to owe 
the fed some money right so we're going to multiply or we're going to add this plus no yeah plus 15 percent so of that 307 dollars you made you owe 46 dollars in taxes so you made 250 dollars okay on twenty five thousand dollars two hundred and fifty dollars is what you profited I don't know what you make in a day but two hundred and fifty dollars is nice yes okay and then I'm gonna end my talk with this and showing you because this is probably a 20 minute video by now or yeah. whatever <laughs> um, what if you had 20 times that money 30 times that money 40 times twenty five thousand dollars is a million dollars what if you had some savings in your retirement and you played this strategy and you learned to trade oil? You're going to make some money in your day. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed our video. I have really enjoyed learning. Bill has so much to teach me when it comes to trading oil and stocks and things like that. He has a lot of information in this noggin and he has been kind enough to start sharing it with me and I'm really enjoying learning. So I hope you learned something. I hope this video wasn't all over the place and it was actually put together well enough that you can learn as well and maybe give it a try. I have enjoyed it. And I'll give you updates later as well on how I'm feeling about it and, and different things I've learned and tips for you. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. Get out there and trade oil. Bye. Bye.